So I've heard the announcement that Silent Hill is making its return. Whether it's going to be a reboot or another installment or both, I am skeptical. Silent Hill is one of my favorite games of all time, especially Silent Hill 2. It, is, it isn't just a game for, to me, it's, it's more than a game. It's a game that kind of changed my life. And I know that's kind of cheesy and cliche to say, but honestly, Silent Hill 2 is one of the greatest games of all time for a reason. Uh, my reason, why I consider it so, is because it's one of the first games to ever make me feel emotional for a character. James Sutherland, Angela, Eddie, Laura, even Mary and Maria. I, I feel emotionally connected to these characters. The story is so thought-provoking. It is well-written. And when I heard it was, there's a chance that it might get rebooted and I've seen leaks, I've been on the fence about it because Konami has not made good decisions in the past with the franchise, especially outsourcing it to outsider developers that don't understand the story. A lot of you may not know this, but Silent Hill is not a place that lures victims and tortures them. It's not a hell. What Silent Hill is, it's a place that pretty much brings the worst out of you into reality. It makes things come true. I don't know how to really explain it, but for James in Silent Hill 2, it was his guilt. That was his most negative aspect of himself, was his guilt for what he's done. And Silent Hill decided to bring that that nightmare to a reality. Uh, Silent Hill 1 and 3 are connected story-wise. I'm not going to really get into it. But people need to understand that Silent Hill is not a hell. It's not, some, it's not a place where people are lured there to get tortured because they feel guilt. Or they are going through something. It is a lot more complex than that. Also, Pyramid Head, who is the main antagonist in Silent Hill 2, spoiler alert, it's not, he's not the main villain in Silent Hill. Like, he's not a reoccurring character. He is supposed to stay in Silent Hill 2 because James created him out of his own guilt. I'm not going to spoil any more of the game, but... That is extremely important to know. So I don't want to see teasers of Silent Hill 5, the short message, teasing Pyramid Head. If I see that, I know that this game is not going to be good. And I know I shouldn't be judging things, and I should reserve judgment until the game comes out, until I played it. But honestly, I just want a good Silent Hill game that does justice. I did hear that the original creators are returning for Silent Hill The Short Message. And Bloober Team, uh, a developer known for, for making The Observer and Layers of Fear is gonna handle the remake of Silent Hill 2. Which to me is kind of reassuring because that uh, Bloober knows how to make good horror games. I love Layers of Fear and I did love The Observer. So I would like to see what they would like to do with Silent Hill 2. But I'm happy that it's brought back from the dead. I'm happy that people are still talking about Silent Hill. I'm happy that it's, there's Konami's taking a chance here. What could go wrong if let's say this is a pachinko machine or uh, they're not rebooting Silent Hill 2 and they're making a part five, but the part five isn't good. That means that this may be the last time we see Silent Hill. I don't know if Silent Hill is gonna get revived again because it's been eight years since the PT has been canceled. And PT was an extremely amazing playable demo or playable teaser. I was really excited to see what that Silent Hill game was going to bring to the table. And unfortunately, Kojima was let go and the whole project was canceled. We never got to see what was the project going to finally look like. And because P.T. was so popular, it actually inspired Resident Evil to get back into its horror roots. So I'm very skeptical about the new Silent Hill games that are going to be coming out, especially the movie. 
but I'm a huge hardcore fan, so I'm trying my best to, to keep my expectations at a low. Because I know if there is one thing that I do constantly is have high hopes, have high expectations, and then become very disappointed when the game doesn't turn out the way I want it to. So if you guys enjoyed this video, uh, please smash the like button, comment down below. It really does help. I just wanted to voice my thoughts on on this teaser that happened yesterday. I didn't have enough time to make this video and uh, post it to you guys. So I decided just to make it right now. A real quick video. I have another video coming out. It is going to be top five games to play on the Steam Deck. It's going to be a very special video. And then I might have another trailer reaction video to the Need for Speed Unbound recent trailer. So hopefully you guys stay tuned for that. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.